In this video, I will cover doing figure eight inside a box. Now, I will cover how to do this exercise and what it helps to develop. So hang tight. Hey guys, I'm Paul the Motor Guy and welcome to my channel where I pass on riding tips, practice drills, and defensive riding strategies. Now, I'm a rider coach, a motorcycle sergeant, and owner and instructor at Pro Rider Central Texas. Now, as I've mentioned in my previous figure eight video, I think that the figure eight exercise is the bread and butter of all exercises. Now, if done correctly, it allows you to work on the friction zone and throttle control, proper head and eye movements, counterweighting, and trail braking with the rear brake. Now, when you're practicing the figure eight the traditional way using two pivot cones, it allows you to go wide due to there not being any boundaries. But by doing the figure eight exercise inside of a box, it forces you to turn the handlebars and keep them turned longer, which will tighten up your turns. Now, when we do this exercise in the beginning of motor school, the students usually have trouble at first because of the boundaries and the sense of being boxed in. Now, this exercise will also really expose if you're using improper head turns and eye movements. So first, let's talk about the two common mistakes I see riders make when they're practicing the figure eight exercise. Now, the first thing is that riders tend to use too much speed or momentum. Now, by doing this, you're really not working on the friction zone. So to correct this, you want to slow the motorcycle down in between your turns. Now, by doing this, it will force you to use the friction zone to keep the motorcycle up and not momentum. Now, remember, there are two things that keeps the motorcycle from falling. Now, the first thing is momentum. So if I'm riding down the road at 50 miles per hour and I fall off the motorcycle, what happens? That's right. The motorcycle will keep on going until it loses momentum and then it will fall over. Now we've all seen those videos on YouTube. Now the second thing that keeps the motorcycle from falling when we don't have momentum, such as when we're making our slow tight turns, is having power to the rear wheel. As long as we have power to the rear wheel by being in the friction zone, the motorcycle will not fall. Now the next thing is improper head turn and eye movements. Now many riders tend to look down when they're practicing this exercise. But remember, you never want to look down. You want to always keep your chin up. Now when doing this exercise, you want to turn your head and find the middle of the sidewall. So if I'm entering the box from here and I'm making a left turn, you want to look here. And when you're turning to the right, you again want to look here. Now the box size I'm using is 60 feet long and 22 feet wide. Now you can make the box any size you want, but remember the smaller you make your box, the more handlebar turn and motorcycle lean you have to do. Now as I'm riding this exercise, I want you to watch how I slow the motorcycle down before I start my turns, how I'm keeping the handlebars turned until I'm heading in the direction I want to go and my head turns. Now, if you've been practicing a figure eight exercise using two pivot cones and you have a tendency to make wide turns, try this exercise. It will help you tighten up your turns and improve your head turns and eye movements. Now, I will leave a link to my previous figure eight video up top 
and in the description below. Now, if you found value in this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And let me know what you think about this exercise in the comment section below. Now, until next time, practice, 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 and ride safe.